So today what we're going to do is we're going to do some ocean science experiments. You guys ready? Yeah. Yeah. We went to the beach yesterday for the Maddie James walk. We got pretty excited about the ocean, didn't we? Mm-hmm. Yes. So what we're going to do is we're going to make our own little ocean right here. So what we did is I filled a two liter bottle up halfway with cold water and I added a little bit of food coloring to make it blue. And when you're done, you can let the kids maybe paint seaweed and stuff on the front here. So then what we're going to do is we're going to add a fourth cup of vinegar in the bottle. You thought it was water? It does look like water, huh? Yeah, it does. It's just it has some chemicals in it that makes we it... We haven't used vinegar since Easter time. So we're going to carefully pour it in. And again, I need to invest in a funnel, huh? We need to get a funnel, don't we? And then you're going to put in one tablespoon of baking soda. I don't know what this is going to happen. It's probably going to go all over the place, huh? Yeah. Let's yeah. put it in here. I know what's going to happen after this. When, when the baking soda reacts. Yeah, happen. we need to get a funnel. Okay. So for next week, we're going to come back with a funnel. Right? What do you guys think? Yeah. We'll put yeah. a little extra because half of it went all over the floor. Table. And that went all over. Mm -hmm. Okay, right, so we put that in. Then we have our ocean. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put the fish in. So each of you can put in two fish. Two fish. Okay. Put two fish in. One, two. Put two fish in. And I'm going to put two fish in. You put two fish in. Okay. Now let's wait and happen. See what happens. Now as you can see, the fish are where? I'm going to mix it up a little bit. Make sure we got all that mixed up. So they're at the bottom. And then what's going to happen, you guys ready? Mm -hmm. Is the vinegar is going to react with the baking soda, and then eventually the fish will start swimming around. And they'll come up to the top, and they'll go up to the bottom with the bubbles. And it'll last for about 20 minutes or so, and you can do this over and over and over again. So this is a fun experiment, and your kids can just wait, and pretty soon they'll start coming up to the top. We'll come back with our next one. just minutes. came up. And then it's diving under the Coming bridge. down. <laughs> There's that one's going up. That one's going up. I'm okay. coming up too. That one's coming up. That one went down. There's yeah. that one's went down. Look at them. The mm -hmm. other one went down too. Come on, Gigi. That let's one's do it. Project, we're going to learn about the animals in the sea and a little bit about the trash in our sea because in our sea is there a lot of trash yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. you guys have seen it when we've done the beach cleanups right yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah we picked up a lot of trash and one thing that we picked up a lot of are these and you know what happens when these are floating in the sea they get stuck on the nose of an animal and their noses are kind of long and then they can't get it off and then they can't open their mouth to eat and then what happens to the animals they die. they die. And it's really, really sad. So these are really, really dangerous. So, what we're going to do is we got little tiny rubber bands like this. Can I have one of your fingers? Okay, one at a time. Ella's going to go first. I want first. Now I want you to try to get that I off without first. using your other hand. Because the fishes don't have hands. So pretend that's your mouth. And try to get it off. No, try to get it off. Like, try to move it off with your side of your face. Okay. Because you don't have a you don't have a hand. Fishes don't have hands, right? I can't do it. Can you get it off? Not really. No, it's kind of hard, right? Oh, I, I, think I, I did, did it. it. Well, you did it because you used two hands here. No, I'm not. I'm using my I'm using my chin. Yes. <laughs> it <is> okay. <laughs> well, it's hard. Okay, that's the point. I can't even get it off. It's not easy, right? Look at Ella. It's not easy. <laughs> okay. So the same thing <laughs> happens with these. It's really, really hard for them to get it off. So what is important to do is before you throw these in the trash, that you tell your moms and dads, you say, stop, wait, don't throw that in the trash. I need to cut it first. So you take your scissors, and Ella, can you cut this one? Cut it right there. And then you know what'll happen? If it ends up in the ocean, it's floating away, it won't get caught on anybody's nose. Can I cut my thing? Tyler, well, I'll do that. I don't want you to cut your finger. <laughs> here, Tyler, can you cut this one? Yes. Can you cut this circle right here? And you help save a fishy in the sea. Good job. Okay, Andrew, can you help cut this one? Mom, could you take this off my finger because it's following me? Yeah. 
So can you imagine how much that would have bothered a fish if it was on their nose? A lot, huh? It would be really sad, right? Yeah. All right. So that's our end of this project. <laughs>